guys, welcome back to Stroop Mansion. As you can see, we are outside today. The weather is finally warming up in Ohio, so I thought that I would show you some of the stuff that we've been up to and just kind of, I don't know, talk yard and flowers and garden because, oh, I've, I've been ready. <laughs> so first thing I want to show you is we, oh, we have lots of daffodils. That's something really exciting. We actually have them like, everywhere there's a ton in the woods um that really kind of don't get appreciated because they're in the woods i think i would eventually like to dig them up and bring them into the yard but for now it's just an exciting like springs here so what i was actually trying to show you here is that jeff has been working super hard on paths throughout the woods we have three acres and we have a, a big chunk of it is grassy area and then the rest of it is woods. So the woods kind of like, they're just, it's super thick with thorns and you can't really walk through it. So Jeff has been clearing paths. Let me turn this around and let's walk this path. This was formerly unpassable. You could not get through here. And then Jeff started cutting it down. Um, eventually this will fill in and like, all of this right here will be up. So we're just following that. He made this really cool wiggly path, which is so cute. And then we've got these bricks here cause we need little steps. I'm very much looking forward to seeing this in the summer when everything is really up. Right now, all of this greenery is new within the last like three days. So it's changing so rapidly. I can't wait to see it. Cause right now it's hard to even tell that like it's a path. At least that's how it looks on the camera. I'm sure that it might look different on the computer when I finally view this, but in person it's a definite path and it's awesome. So, here's Jeff, he is, what are you doing Jeff? Making a flower bed. Jeff is making a flower bed. This will all be flower bed right here, this grass that you're looking at, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the plan is to extend it. Um, because the other day, my dad and I did this. I have a whole bunch of footage to show you, so I guess we could cut to that right now. So while my dad tilled, I used the riddle to sort through the dirt and pull out any big chunks of grass, any large rocks and stones, and of course, get trash out.
Seriously, so much broken glass. And mirrors? And here is the finished product. Well, maybe not quite finished finished. I would eventually like to put a border around it. So even though it's like surrounded by concrete and kind of has like a natural border, I kind of just thought that it might be nice to have something that made it really look like, yes, this is a purposeful garden. So definitely doing that. And I also want to um, put some annuals in there, just get some color, some flowers, really, really make it pop. We're walking to the other flower bed right now. This isn't really a flower bed because there's nothing in it. Let me flip you around. This tree was already here. It's established obviously, so we're not gonna get rid of it, but Jeff had the idea to make it a cool little wiggly garden. The plan is to anchor it with a, another tree right here. And then I'll do flowers in here. Trees and shrubs and stuff are his jam and flowers are mine. So I'm really looking forward to tilling this. Maybe this week, hopefully if it's not super rainy. We gotta get rid of that because we don't have children, obviously. <laughs> um, and then this concrete pad, still really, really want to make that my greenhouse. We'll see. Okay, so let me show you the other path. This is the second path that Jeff carved out here. Once again, at the moment, because it is so early in spring, it doesn't quite look like much, but once things grow in, it, you'll be able to really tell it's a path because last fall when we got in the house, this was not, you couldn't walk this way. It was just 100% thorns. So yeah, we've got these big basin things. Uh, my plan is to make them into planters. I think they'll be cool. I, my plan is to like put wood around them so that they're not ugly but it's, it's a huge container, so why not make it a planter? <clears throat> so, this right here, not sure what it was. We've been kind of like poking around at it and looking at old maps and stuff and trying to figure out what was here, but either way, there's these huge concrete slabs the plan is to push this back. We just need a hand to do it um, and make it like little steps. So the path goes this way over that. And we're back out here. And there is Jeff still digging. This is like Oh, 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 I gotta show you, hold on, I gotta show you something else real quick. So, along our driveway here, my dad and I replanted some daffodils that were my mom's. Um, I don't know what to say about it other than I definitely cried about it. And that it's really special. I know that I recently was like looking through some of my old posts on Instagram and I wrote about how I wrote about how I couldn't wait to, um, take some bulbs from my parents house and be able to grow my mom's flowers there they are i mean i hope to 
you don't get like a bazillion more of them, but for now it's a really nice start and a nice thing that I think my mom would really enjoy is me enjoying her flowers. So I'm not gonna talk about that anymore or I'm gonna cry. <laughs> a lot of you have asked about our patio, which is still in that condition. We haven't dug it up anymore. Um, it's been really cold and then when we have been outside, it's just been, Jeff's been cutting the trails and I've been working on the new garden. I just like, there's so much that we wanna do here that it's hard to like really pick one thing and commit to it, like a patio. And also I know that like, even when we get it dug up, we're still gonna have to fix it. It's too lumpy. Um, it just needs pulled up, evened, and then replaced, but definitely cannot leave it as is. What'd you find? Wallpaper and plaster. Oh gosh, I thought it was all back that way. I didn't, it smells funny. Yeah. No, this is what you want when you're planting. I mean, you want a good, rich soil. You've got plenty of wallpaper, plenty of plaster walls. <laughs> I thought you were going to be serious for a second. No, never. It smells so funny. Do you smell it? Oh, yeah. No, I smell it. I smell it as soon as I turn that dirt oil. Oh, dirt, yeah. dirt over. The dirt oil. <laughs> you guys, I feel like this video is going to be all over the place and on one hand, I want to apologize, but I hope that you just see that that means I'm really excited about spring. We have just been waiting for this for, you know, all winter. It, we moved in in September and didn't really get to enjoy the outside. And now that we're allowed outside, like we spend no time in the house anymore. So I want to turn this around and show you. Um, here's our pond. When we moved in, you actually couldn't really see the pond except for this little area right here. This is all so overgrown. So this is an area that I super duper love. These like cool little rocks that lead you right down to the water. But what I want to show you is that my husband built a bridge. It's so cute. So the bridge plan here is to plant some ferns and um, just some other stuff that isn't prickers like what was here. So that it's, like I said, I just keep coming back to this and I wish there was a better word for it and I'm sure somebody will have one for me. But just like, we want to make it magical. We want everything to just feel like secret garden vibes. Um, so yeah, just, just want to make it, just want to make every day of my life feel like a fairy tale. It already does inside this huge house that's just beyond our wildest dreams. But I think that like, adding tons of plants and adding lots of greenery and flowers and shrubs and trees and good smells will just like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. The bridge just takes you to the other side where Jeff cleared out a really small trail that you have to duck under. So it's like secretive. And this is a cool little hammock spot. So from this tree, to this one, you can hammock and it's really nice and private and just a super cool place to lay. But also you have this awesome view of the house with the reflection. I can't believe this is our house. And then we have such awesome outdoor space. I just thought of one more thing I wanted to show you. When we um, first started metal detecting the yard, we found a lot of stuff right here in what now is my first flower bed. Um, my nephew found um, a weed back penny there and we had just we just kept finding a lot of stuff so I knew that there were lots of nails and stuff in there so as well as getting out the trash that was in there we were also able to sift out a whole bunch of nails and other random bits and bobs so I just wanted to show you the collection of everything that I pulled out of the bed when we did it including something super cool so hold on a sec <gasps> I'm actually just going to go ahead and lay everything out here because it's wild how much there is. So 
So I just want to show you some of my coolest finds. So, um, obviously this thing is super cool. I don't quite know what it is, but I love the shape of it. I definitely want to take this in the house and clean it up. It feels like it's hollow. I can feel stuff shaking inside. Um, we found a whole bunch of really huge nails, screws, uh, but okay. One of my favorite finds, there are two, is this marble. I really love marbles. I don't care where they come from. I love them when I find them on the beach. I love them when I find them in the dump and I love when I find them in my garden. We found a Canadian penny from 1971. Not super old. Oop, focusing failed. Oh, that's pretty interesting. This camera is new, I'm still learning it. Um, let me go grab the coolest one. Okay, I'm back. So I tilled the garden and picked out all that I could of the nails and stuff. And then I told Jeff he had one last chance to go over it with the metal detector before it was a no metal detecting zone. And he pulled out this button. He pulled out this button and it's super cool to begin with because it's a button. But more than that is that we actually found it on eBay. Like we found one being sold and it has a name, it's called Tulips and Turtles. I just think that is so cool that it has a name, that it's like, I don't know. It just really feels like a piece of history when it's like, when I, I don't know, it's cool. Wheat back pennies are awesome, but this just, this feels more like history to me, at least as I throw it. Uh, but that will definitely, definitely, definitely go in our shadow box. I'm planning a shadow box of all our coolest finds, so. So what is next for our yard and for our spring plans? Obviously we have like grand plans that won't be completed in one season. We wanted to basically like, we don't need a grass yard. We want lots of flowers and um, like gardens and stuff so that is definitely the plan I showed you this one over here I think that we want to do lots of stuff like that Jeff really is enjoying digging these like natural shapes we're not gonna just have like our yard full of square beds it's going to be lots of like blobs <laughs> um, which doesn't sound so appealing but I think it'll it's gonna be amazing we also tried magnet fishing for the first time this week It's also deep. Yes, it is. We could hide a body in here. Oh my gosh. So this is... That's the bottom. This is clean water? This is a cistern. So this is rainwater. Oh, cool. The bottom's soft. You, there's a lot of like sediment. You can feel it. We might not have gotten anything, but we'll see. A nail! <laughs> oh, puppy, get away from it. Oh, a staple? Oh my gosh, ew! What is that? It's, I mean, it's just like metal sludge, like shavings, like rust. Mm. Yeah, not really anything identifiable. Oh, let's do it again. Oh. It's so like it's so dark. This is one of those things, you know how people feel the urge to jump off buildings. <laughs> you just wanna go swimming? I do. I wanna go in there. But then the thought of just like accidentally going in there makes me feel so panicked. I got rope, I can get you out. Big chunk. Did you 
Hi, nice. Nice big hunk of what was probably roof at one point. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you're super interested in garden content because I feel like I'm going to have a lot of it. Was this what you planned to do today? No. You just got excited? I just kind of started and then now <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Jeff, do you have anything you want to say about the yard? No? no I don't think so. You don't like the yard? Not really. Jeff hates it here. He's miserable. So miserable. It's cool here. It's a little bit cool. It's just a tiny bit cool. <laughs>